This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code ADJUSTERTV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. This is a question that comes up, and as I, when I train adjusters, uh, really comes up because it, it's, it's not very intuitive, and I don't think that it's something that, uh, I think it could be argued that it's, um, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense in terms of like real construction or real restoration of things. But there's in insurance, there's a concept called of, of repair, right? And then there's a concept of replace. And those are the two main actions that you're going to do when you're going to do write an estimate for to fix damages, right? To, to, to restore that property back to its pre loss condition, right? Um, and really what it kind of comes down to and why it even matters is that. Uh, the way a lot of policies are written is that they will say, uh, if you, and it's it's not even, exp it's kind of implied in a lot of this stuff, but this is sort of like the standard in the insurance industry, insurance restoration things. If you're going to replace all of something, right, um, then you would, that would uh, make it to where you would have to um, depreciate that item because um, if you, and we'll talk about depreciation in another video, but basically it, whether you repair it or replace it determines, is gonna determine whether or not you're gonna pay for the full replacement cost value or the full like undiminished price uh, of the thing, whatever it is, versus um, splitting it into two payments, two or more payments um, if, you're, if you're doing a replacement. So we will say, and again, this is weird, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, I don't think, but if you're gonna, re something gets repaired, um, then we're, we're going to pay the full price to repair that thing, right? So in other words, I think a good example is um, phone case, right? So a new phone, okay? Um, this thing is falling apart because it's old and beat up. But if you, um, if you determine, like as the adjuster and the contractor agrees that, well, you know, the scratches on this thing um, caused by a covered loss, we'll say hail, I'm just, I'm just making this example here, right? Uh, we can repair that by using a, you know, some kind of a, something to wipe, wipe on there, and then you can rub that in, and then you can wipe something else on it to make everything all match and be uniform. And it'll look like it did before the loss, right? Pre-loss condition. That's a repair, and if it costs hundred dollars to do that, then as the adjuster, I would give, you know, whoever's phone this is mine, give that person a hundred bucks and be done, and then take the deductible off of that, and then be done with it, right? Um, but if we say, uh, well, actually, that cannot be repaired, and the, the proper, like, customary and reasonable thing to do to, to put this to pre-loss condition is to take this old one off and throw it away and put a brand new one on, then we would call that a replace, right? Never, never mind the fact that the phone itself wasn't damaged, That's, and this is kind of part of it. Because the example you could think of is like, um, that's sort of a, you know, sort of analogous would be like a roof, right? So in other words, the roof can be repaired, right? So individual shingles can be pulled out and new ones can be stuck back in, especially in things like if, if, if it's, uh, Forgetting about repairability of the age of the roof, um, if there's some shingles blown off or a tree limb hits it and puts some scratches or holes in the shingles, then you can take, you know, take pictures and write an estimate for just replacing those individual shingles and sticking it back in. You're, re you're replacing the whole shingle, but we consider it a repair because the shingle is a part of the whole roof, right? Um, if the damage was, ex is ex was extensive enough or it was determined that the shingle wasn't repairable by whatever metric, right, it's a totally different video, um, then we would peel off that whole roof and put a whole new roof on, installed fresh onto the plywood, right? And that would be considered a replace operation. Um, a clever person, um, and it's, it's, this, is, this is one of those kind of things that, you can get bogged down in, and when you're standing in on a, somebody's roof with a contractor or a public adjuster, where they want to decide, they decide they want to have a philosophical conversation or debate with you, where they say, "Well, listen, you know, I think a, what what would actually be a full replacement would be if you fully replaced the whole house," which would be probably true. 
Um, but that's just not the way the industry works. That's not, it, it's already arbitrary enough as it is. Um, and you having a, a philosophical debate with, about this particular topic or any topic, honestly, with somebody on a roof or in their front yard where you have zero ability to say, you know what, you're right, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the whole house or I'm gonna consider tearing off and replacing the whole roof for repair because we're not replacing the whole house, right? Um, that is a waste of time. Don't do that. Just be like, listen, there's nothing I can do about it. That's just the way it is. You know, you can, I can't, I'm not, if, if I try to turn in a claim where I take zero depreciation on this roof with the under the argument that it's not replacing the whole house, uh, they, they just won't pay it. They'll just send it back to me and say, fix it. And I, the file won't go through until I fix it, right? That's really the only answer that you can give. But that's kind of the fundamental difference between repair and replace. Um, you know, later on in, in another video, we'll talk about depreciation and how the repair versus replace applies to those things. But for now, just know that if you're going to replace part of something, then it's considered a repair. And there's a million different little examples that I'm not going to go through here. Um, but if you replace all of a thing, um, then it's considered a replace, and then it would be subject to depreciation, depending on other factors, certainly. Um, probably the, the weirdest example and the least intuitive thing is paint, right? If you paint, repaint all the rooms in a room or all the walls and ceiling in a room, it's considered a replace, right? So you're gonna depreciate the paint. If you re just repaint the one wall, right? Which you wouldn't, I wouldn't do, but in, 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 I can't think of it's a circumstance unless it was an accent wall um, or the, there was one wall that's painted then the rest of the wallpaper or whatever. But if it's a room like, th well, that doesn't have paint on it. If you're repainting only part of, like if you're just doing the ceiling or then you, they consider it a repair, it gets confusing, right? And this is where you have to access your estimated guidelines. And this is where when you take your carrier certifications, like State Farm and Allstate and Liberty Mutual and all this USAA, whoever, they're going to tell you exactly what a replace is and what a repair operation is and when you do this and when you don't do this and so on and so forth. So... It's important to go to all those IA firm trainings. I don't care what other training you get. You can go to Veteran Adjusting School or MoCAT or take my training. Um, you still got to go to those any 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 training that any IA firm has out there that you you can take and you can afford it. Then go take it because you're going to learn these these little detail things um, specific to carriers as well as have an opportunity for networking. Um, and to get in front of the recruiters, which is the main purpose of, of most of the IA firm trainings. So you got you got to go to those. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at AdjusterTVPlus.com.